Hey everyone, welcome to the Mod Golf Podcast. So, hey, this episode, which is the start of season 10, can't believe we're in season 10 now, we're going to do things a little differently rather than having me as your host, which I have been for the last four years and change. We're going to shake it up a little bit. I have a guest host this week, which I've been planning for some time, and I'm really excited that we're doing this. And that is my good friend. I think we can call ourselves good friend. I think we've reached the good friend status here. And that is Dr. Greta Anderson, one of our previous guests. And also her guest this week, which is Kelly Hunt, who is the founder of Golfers, along with all the other amazing things that she does. So welcome, both of you. I'm so excited for this. And now I'm just going to turn off my camera and mic and disappear and let the two of you take over. So Take it away, Dr. Greta. Thank you. So good to be here. Kelly, hey there. It's so good to see you again, talk to you. You know, we've been in COVID, so nobody's really been seeing each other, but it's good to, to be with you. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for hosting. It's great to see you. I know that we chatted over the phone a couple months ago, so it's awesome to be here and almost like we're in person. Absolutely. You know, we've kind of gotten, unfortunately, had to get used to kind of this two-dimensional existence with these cameras and that type of thing. But again, so glad to have you here. We all about so much of what you do as a golf professional, proud, you know, female member of our, or for our industry here, but also just, you know, if you kind of give people, a, let's see, pick a number, a one minute, 90 second, whatever you choose, kind of story about, um, one, your involvement in the golf industry, but also about golfers. Sure. So I'm currently an assistant golf professional down at Wellesley, Massachusetts. Um, and I have been in the industry for about three years now. And I actually started the PGM program. Oh gosh, was it two years ago now? November of 2019, I attended my first seminar. Um, and I promise this is going somewhere. When I went there, there were 56 of us total PGM associates. And the instructor said, wow, there are so many women here. You don't know how many women were there? Nine. Oh, oh, wow. So many. Nine. And so they said, wow, this is an anomaly. Nine out of 56. That's a lot. So that really got my brain thinking like, what is going on here? So I actually looked it up, saw that we only make up 5% of PGA professionals in the golf industry. So about a thousand out of 29,000, 30,000. And that's really what sparked the idea to start my golfers platform. So once I went back to school, so I attended the uh, seminar in November, went to school in January, started this project for my final senior project. And I decided to create a platform that is seeking to change that 5% number. And we do that by promoting women in the industry, celebrating these women in the industry, and most importantly, connecting these women in the industry. So that's where the need and the idea came from. And as you know, I've now started this platform called Golfers. Amazing. And so I wanna to get to some of the, one of the, the coolest things, you do so many cool things in, in, in the context of golfers. I wanna to get to a piece of that in the moment, but I know that like, like so many of us, we're busy teaching. And I know that you, so many aspects of your instructional life hold a special place in your heart, but tell us a little bit about these mother daughter clinics that you do. Sure. So starting at my new job at Wellesley Country Club, I knew it was a very family oriented club and I knew there was a huge potential there to grow the game and get more people out there playing. So Mother's Day, as you know, was about a month ago and I had the idea, why don't we do a mom daughter clinic? So I've actually put two in the books on that Sunday and they were an absolute hit. We had, you know, moms, their daughters, their multiple daughters, grandmothers with their granddaughters, everyone from the age of six to in their forties in terms of the granddaughters um, and daughters and everyone had a blast. So we did a clinic uh, hour long dedicated to really getting these women and their, their kids and grandkids out on the course, learning a little bit about the game and most importantly, having fun with their moms or their grandmas and people their age. So we had some youngins, we had some six and eight year olds. We had some daughters that were late twenties that just had an absolute blast. So seeing that success, we decided to get more in the books. Why wouldn't we? 
So we've got about five more mom and daughter clinics coming um, some several Sundays over the next couple months. So I'm really ecstatic to see just, you know, different moms, different daughters, grandmothers, everybody. So they're very excited. Uh, a lot of the moms said, it's just great to have my kids want to come do something with me. So yeah. it's, it's wonderful. We know when we love so much that they're doing things together, but they're doing golf together. So that just makes it just, it just makes all of, at least my heart sing as, as, a, as a very biased. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Now, kind of getting back to this whole thing about golfers. Now, you are passionate about helping to grow the game in so many ways. And so you just talked about how you're doing your, doing your part from the, from the instructional standpoint, getting the moms and the daughters and the grandmoms and grandkids out together. But you're also doing some amazing things to help women who are trying to take that step forward in moving into the industry. So just give us a little bit of a tidbit about what's going on there. And we're going to share a little bit more about that later on, but just some, some highlights on, on what's going on over there. Sure. So kind of two part, I'll talk about the golfer scholarship fund, but what this platform does is it really bridges the gap between, you know, being unsure about this industry and then really embracing it and seeing it as a community. Because like we talked about in our longer interview, when I started this industry, started in the industry, I didn't know anybody. I didn't have anyone to reach out to advice and I didn't even know where to start. So this platform really gives women, whether they're in this industry, just just starting out or they've been in the industry for years, it gives them that community like, oh, wow, there are other golfers out there, other women in leadership positions. In terms of getting women um, into the industry, as, as we know, it's expensive. So that is a huge barrier for some that they have to pay to have the education to become that LPGA or PGA professional. So that's where the Golfers Scholarship Fund uh, was created. I saw that need uh, and I wanted to fill that need for at least one woman every year. And obviously I hope to grow it to be multiple women per year and, and, and more funds. So right now, July 15th is the deadline for the first golfer's scholarship application. And we'll be giving away $750 to uh, a woman aspiring to be an LPGA or PGA professional. Okay. And so that is a very big deal because of us who are in the industry and have gone through the steps of this process know that it is a not only it's a resource intensive endeavor from time to money to everything in between. So if you want to know more about this, this amazing scholarship opportunity that Kelly and golfers team and community have created, along with the amazing other things that are going on in the life of Miss Kelly Hunt, you need to tune in to the full interview at the Mod Golf Podcast. <laughs> See you there. <laughs> Thank you.